We're gonna start today with the idea of chlorine. Now, light contact will kill the organisms directly. Filtration is a very important thing in your swimming pool to remove. You're doing great so far. Here we go. It's time for pool It's time for pool Hi, my name is Steve Reichmuth. I'm a project manager with California Pools and Landscape. I've been in the pool industry for 27 years. And today, I wanna to talk to you about some of the different options that we offer from the different equipment on a swimming pool. First, we're gonna start with sanitation. But let's change the scenery. Um, let's do it again. Okay, that's better. We're gonna to start today with the idea of chlorine. Every pool needs chlorine as a sanitizer. Chlorine is an oxidizer and helps to kill bacteria, algae, and other nasties in the water. We'd like to get away from chlorine, but what we'd really like to get away from are chloramines. We'll get into that in a little bit. If we wanted to get away from chlorine, we may look at the option of going with a salt water system. One of the systems that we look at to get away from chlorine is salt systems. Salt systems are nice, but they do have some downfalls. Salt systems take sodium chloride and hydrate it into a salt water. Salt water is a weak force chlorine and will oxidize the bacteria. However, when it gets really hot in Arizona, it's not gonna work as well. And you're gonna end up shocking the pool with more chlorine. One of the bad things about salt is we do change the pH with that molecular change. So we do replace chlorine with muriatic acid. Pay attention, there's gonna be a test. When we're looking at salt and it hydrates, it becomes smaller as a molecule. So when it goes on your decking and other areas and it freezes or dries out, it becomes larger. Therefore, it will deteriorate your decking and we do advise against that. However, it does create soft and silky texture in the water and it does have less chloramines than a standard chlorine. If we looked at oxidizing the water in a different way through electronic purposes, we may want to look at a UV or an ozone system. UV takes solid bulbs of UV light surrounded by clear tubes of water and that light contact will kill the organisms directly. This is a great way to oxidize with no additional change to the water, if you will. Ozone works a little bit differently. It takes the same UV bulb and through the magnetic flux of the earth, I know this sounds weird, it changes O2 molecules, about 17% in our atmosphere, into a short half-life O3 molecule. That O3 molecule will be able to oxidize once it goes into the filter and will take and basically rip apart the cell structure of any algae, bacteria, and those other nasties we talked about in the water, therefore replacing the need to oxidize that chlorine would normally do. Now stay with me here, this is important. If I ran one of these systems or the other, the UV or the ozone, I would reduce my need for chlorine by up to 60%. If I ran both of them at the same time, I'd reduce my need for up to 80%. Is this real? It is. Chloramines are the byproduct of chlorine bonding to a natural element or a bioorganic or nasties. What happens is it renders that unit, that molecule, if you will, neutralized, oxidized. However, it renders out an ammonia molecule. That ammonia molecule combined with the chlorine creates chloramine. Chloramine is very present when we go to outdoor pools. We smell it in the air. We feel it on our skin. It turns our hair green if we're blonde and it will make our eyes red. Whoa! The best way to do this is to keep your pool at the highest level of free chlorines and the lowest level of total chlorines possible. These are chlorines that are unbonded and are not yet chloramines. Again, using a UV or an ozone system is a great way to do that. California Pools and Landscapes offers and promotes the use of sanitation systems to ensure that your swimming pool is the cleanest, healthiest, with the least amount of work for you. Now I know I threw a lot at you there, and this is a big decision. Understand that sanitation systems can be purchased at the time that the pool is built, and they can be added on later, and they might help you for an existing pool if you have one. All of the project managers at California Pools can assist you with any questions you may have regarding these sanitation systems. Remember, sanitation in the pool is one of our utmost priorities for safety of water and health of your family. Don't be afraid of this. Chemistry can be tough, but it's easy once we break it down. For more Pool Science with Steve, visit our learning center at calpool.com backslash learning hyphen center.